The drone attack on an airbase in the Russian city of Skov on Tuesday was launched from inside Russia, Ukraine's military intelligence chief has said. Kurylo Budinov said two Ilushin cargo planes were destroyed and two damaged. Russia says four were damaged. Mr. Budinov did not say whether the attack was carried out by Ukrainian or Russian operatives. Ukraine's drone attacks on Russia occur almost daily. It had already admitted the Skov attack, but Mr. Budinov's comments appear to end speculation that it was caused by a long-range weapon. On Thursday President Volodymyr Zelensky said that a Ukrainian-made weapon had hit a target at a distance of 700 kilometers. Skov is approximately 500 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. We are working from the territory of Russia, Mr. Budinov told the War Zone website on Thursday, without saying what type or quantity of drones were used. He said the drones targeted the tops of the aircraft, the location of the fuel tanks and a critical section of the wing spar. The damaged aircraft are long-range cargo planes ideal for transporting troops and equipment over long distances and therefore valuable war assets for Russia. Meanwhile drone attacks on several locations in Russia continued overnight Thursday to Friday. Unconfirmed reports say a factory making electronic parts for rockets in the town of Lubertsy outside Moscow was hit. However, Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin said in his Telegram channel that the drones over Liberty were shot down without causing any damage or casualties. As with previous attacks in the Moscow area, a number of flights from Moscow airports were delayed or cancelled on Friday morning. Kursk Region Governor Roman Starovoy said one residential and one administrative building had been hit in the town of Kurchetov, close to the Kursk nuclear plant.